In this tutorial, <clears throat> you will learn how to convert your flip charts from Active Inspire into class flow lessons. So we're going to start with this one right here, which is a camping flip chart for an ELD class. I'm just going to open it up really quick into Active Inspire so you can see what it looks like. That way we can compare what it will look like when we get it into class flow. So just a couple of features I have. This is an activity on camping. You can see that this picture is movable. So we can cover words or move things around. Whereas these words are locked down. We're going to go through a couple of other um, pages just so you can see. Um, what do you want to do when we go camping? I want to blank. What do we need to bring? I need to bring blank. So I want to eat hot dogs. What do we need to bring? We need to bring ketchup and mustard. So you can see the hot dog and the eat hot dogs are connected. Ketchup and mustard is separate so it can go into a different line. Over here I want to go swimming what do we need to bring? I need to bring goggles. So I have this page set up like that. Um, so you can see there's a number of pages. Some things are grouped, some things are not. So that is the flip chart and it's called Camping ELD. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. Um, I'm not going to save it. and it'll just go right back here on my desktop. Now we're going to go into class flow and convert this lesson. Once you've logged in, um, it gives you all of your choices. I'm going to go to resources because that's where your conversions happen. So from resources, <coughs> I'm going to click on new, convert. And in convert, you get to choose what type of file you're going to convert. Of course we're going to be converting a flip chart. Then it will give me the opportunity to navigate to this camping ELD flip chart. And I'm going to open that up. You'll see we have a progress bar down here. It is completed. And now I can go ahead and close that and it will show up right here in my resources. I'll refresh really quick and wait for Camping ELD to show up. So now's, now's a good time to take a look at what the class flow screen looks like. Over here is my column of actions. If I click on the new, you're going to be going here quite a bit. You can create a lesson, assignment, activities. All of your actions will start from the new. The middle column lists all of your resources. These are like the most recently used. And then over on the right is your active window. Shows you the name of the file. Um, it's an edit lesson. From here we can edit it or deliver it. One thing to note is if I deliver it will go to whatever class is listed at this point. So if I want to send it out to my open class this is the point I would change. So let's look at that again. This corner where I have the green the mortarboard and the green circle is where I'll change classes. And this is my technology class for class flow that's already set up. I can change to any of my classes that I have, including my open class. Open class does not require any sign in. You can see from these icons, this is the one created by class flow and these are all created from Google Classroom. So I'm going to 
deliver this to an open class and it tells me right now I have no students connected but it would allow me to deliver it to the open class and if I hit deliver you'll notice that it will go to the open class Let's wait just a second for it to load so that is the class that's up there once you hit delivery you cannot go back and change the open class or your class that you're um, sending it to. You have to do that a little bit earlier. So let's take a look. How does the class flow lesson compare to my Active Inspire flip chart? Well, I'm in delivery mode, and you can see I cannot move any of the words here or here but I can move that same picture. From here I'm going to go to the next page and it opens up what do you want to do when we go camping? I want to go hiking, go swimming, eat the hot dogs, roast marshmallows and we didn't look to see um, if these were locked down. That must be anchored. I want to go swimming. I want to eat hot dogs. But when we get to that next page, which is where we had the ketchup and mustard separate, I can catch it and move that up here to ketchup and mustard. And I can move my hot dog right over here. Well, my picture did not go at this time. So some features just do not come over, but the words that move. So the if they are anchored before, they stay anchored. So I'd have to go back into design. We'll look at that in just a second. Um, from here I can use my pen and you'll see we have lots of different colors I can draw. I can also erase and it will not erase those. I might need to make that my eraser just a little bit fatter. That'll make it a lot easier. <coughs> um, I'm going to show you this for the display. Instead of having the line of cards or pages down the left side, they go across the bottom. So now I can click through my pages like this. And I can hide that from here. I do have the ability to fill. I can also use the revealer. The revealer is not a slide, it is. Once you click it, it comes on. The spotlight. Oh, I grab it and we can look around and focus attention on one area. I can get bigger or smaller and then I will turn that spotlight off. Um, I can also zoom in on the page if I want to get bigger. Make it fit. So all of these are the tools that will reset me right to 100%. And here is where I can exit from here. If I open, I can go into another lesson directly from here, or I can exit. And since I've moved things, it'll give me the chance to save. So I can save it new. <coughs> so if I hit save new, it'll create a new camping flip chart. Um, I'm going to close this. So 
it will make it however I moved it before. Now if I want to edit my lesson, you can come back and see what has been anchored. I can go to the next page and saw how this could move. If I go here, oops, I think I made that one bigger. I can anchor it, I can anchor movement, I can anchor resize, so I can't set it that, so that you can't change it, but that we can move it around, which means we can still move her. Um, you can also do grouping, let's see, yeah, the grouping stayed. And I can go ahead and add questions or other things that I need. One thing I might want to do is let's go back and take a look at this page. Uh, actually, we're going to go this page. And we can see this man here is in put up a tent. So we're going to edit um, this and we're going to add an action to it. We're going to actually, instead of having him just sit there, we're going to go ahead and add a video. So I went to YouTube earlier and I found one for pitching a tent. It was about two minutes long. And I think it was this one, 2 minutes and 52 seconds. Never see back. So I'm going to go ahead and capture that link. And let's go back into here. And let's add a link on this page. I want to add pitching a tent. And here is my link. And I'm going to actually have that displayed as a link, and I'm just going to add it to the current card. It'll show right up there. And I'm just going to move that to there so I can turn on my video. And set it here in the corner. So then when I preview it, You'll be able to see, I can click on that, and it will open up my video. Stop that, it's a little bit loud. And so that's how you can convert a flip chart, and then go in and edit it to um, work for your ELD class. Thanks for watching.